Hi everyone, today we're going to make our giant version of the Fantasy Hermit Crab. So for this project we will need polymer clay, liquid Sculpey, 0.8 millimeter wire, mica powder, a brush, dotting tool, wax pencil, blade, scissors, high gloss finish or sealer, rhinestones, and aluminum foil. You'll also need a rag. And most importantly, your shell. You can use the souvenir shells that you've bought at your beachside vacations, or I got a bag on Amazon with many different sizes. Tell me where you got your shells in the comments below. Hey guys, Future Deborah here. Remember, you don't have to use plain clay and mica powders. You can use whatever color clay you want for these fantasy crabs. The first thing we want to do is get our wire. So we need three pieces for those six legs. Take those and then in the middle, just twist those together. Add your third one and twist that around. It doesn't have to be perfect. We will be covering all of this with clay. So then we're going to take our clay, make a thick snake, roll it out into a log, take that, wrap it around the center. So the foil we're gonna take, crumple up into a ball, get it small enough to where it fits in the opening of your shell. So make sure that fits inside the opening. We're gonna cover that with clay. So your foil's covered in clay. You wanna take your liquid Sculpey, smear some inside of that shell. Take your ball of aluminum foil that is covered in clay and smush it in there. So once you've got the aluminum foil inside your shell, take your wire that's been wrapped in the clay and just Smush that in and then just use your fingers and just smooth that down. So you've got your legs sticking out. What we're gonna do is take our clay, pull off a piece, roll that into a log. We'll need six claws and 12 ovals for the rest of our legs. And you'll need two smaller sections for the eyes. So once you've got those 18 sections cut, take six of them, roll them in your fingers in a ball, and then put them down and push pressure on one side and you'll get those claws. You need six of those. And then roll the other 12 into balls. And then we just take our two smaller bits and roll them into large grains of rice. So now to put our crab together. So you just take your crab, pick them up, and you take each ball one at a time and just wiggle that onto your wire and then smush to the base. You want two of the ovals. Wiggle on that wire, smush at the base, and then see how it's gonna be a little longer at the end? That's where you take your scissors and just trim a little bit off and then take your claws and smush that on. And then we'll adjust those when we're done. So just do all six legs, just like that. So now that that's done, we can adjust our legs. So they're on wire, so you can just move those back, position them how you want, and if they peek through, that's okay. Just remember, we're gonna color this the same color as that wire. So adjust your legs however you want them to sit. Now we're gonna take our small logs and our dotting tool and just place that in the end, push that down, wiggle it around a little bit, open that up, do the same on this side. Take that same dotting tool, put some liquid Sculpey in those. Before we put our jewel in, we're just gonna position those. So just push it onto your unbaked clay that's on the bottom and smooth it in. Same with the other eye, push in the bottom, smooth it in. And then position your eyeballs how you would like them. And then we're gonna take our rhinestones. Remember we have our wax pencil to help us pick those rhinestones up and then just place those in. Now I have brown wire too, so I'm gonna cut two of those for his little antenna or feelers that are in the front. So just take those, insert into that clay. Remember you can trim these if they're too long. Just push that in, trim off the excess, curl those a little bit more. And now we're gonna color it. This is where the messy part is. So just take your mica powder and then you just brush it on. It's gonna stick to that clay. Oh, look how pretty. Now that he's covered, I'm gonna put him in the oven for about an hour and 10 minutes. Now that our crab is baked, I'm gonna take a high gloss acrylic finisher or sealant and use my rag to dab that on. And that way I won't have any brush strokes or lift any of that color. And you'll be able to see by the shine, that wetness where you have gotten and where you still need to apply. So do that over the entire thing and then we're all done. And that's it. Be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment below on what you did with your hermit crab. Take them out for photo shoots. Be sure to follow me on all social media platforms. 
and you can find all of my items on Etsy at etsy.com slash shop slash Deborah Darling Face. Bye. Thank you.